Hi, in this video I will explain to you how, with a little trick, you can use the XLR input of the TalkBack as an additional input for your Behringer X32 and X32 rack mixer. As you know, the Behringer X32 rack console has 16 XLR inputs with switchable 48 volt phantom power. You can use the 6 auxiliary inputs to add 6 inputs without phantom power for a keyboard, bass and a click track for instance allowing you to have 22 inputs. Finally, you can use the XLR input of the TalkBack as an additional input with activated phantom power, making it a total of 23 inputs in the built-in configuration without adding any digital snake like the Behringer S16, for instance. Please note an important point. The TalkBack input is constantly powered at 48 volts, and this power cannot be turned off. Therefore, you should only use this input with equipment that requires phantom power, such as a condenser microphone for drums overhead, wind instrument pickups, etc. So, here's how to proceed. The first thing to do is to actually plug a static microphone into the talkback uh, input. Then the second thing is to route this talkback into a mix bus. So, let's go on the view tab here of the talkback. We can see here that there's no signal into my talkback. To activate it, I need first to activate the talkback and then to press the button talk A. And then you can see in the mic signal that there is some signal. If I release this button, there's no longer signal. So what we want is to permanently activate this channel. To do so, you click here on latching and this will make the button working in latch mode, which means I press it once, it's activated, and you can see here there's some signal. I press it again, and it's cut. So let's activate it permanently. Then I will route this signal into an open mix bus, an available mix bus. Let's say, for instance, mix bus 6. I click here. Perfect. And then I will go to my mix bus 6. Home. And I will unmute it. Okay, it's a mute. I will put some signal into my mix bus. Now you can see there's some signal. And we're good. So let's use this bus 6 as an input of an available channel. Let's say channel 26. So I will take select channel 26. And the first thing to do is to unmute the channel and put some signal on it. Okay, now I go on the configuration page and instead of the standard input 26 for channel 26, I will go down to the bus 6. I click and now you can see there's some signal coming from my talkback mic. So now that I have this signal into a normal channel, I can do whatever I want. I can do some sends, sending to uh, other channels, to mix buses, for IEMs, for uh, wedges or to send it to uh, effects, etc, etc. So I hope this helps and feel free to leave a comment, like the video and subscribe to the channel. Bye.